right, y'all, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk, man. Let's talk about these Detroit Pistons. So a lot of people right now are complaining, are upset with Troy Weaver, which I don't understand, man. Y'all gotta have this basketball IQ. Y'all have to understand that all of these big men, these centers, these forwards that they're getting, are basically like pieces, pieces to the puzzle. And a lot of them are not gonna stick with the team. They're bringing in people to use either now, um, while the free agency is going on, to trade to get the pieces that they want, or around trade deadline, when they figure out what this team is really gonna be, if they, if they, had a, if they got a shot at making the playoffs or not, which most likely they won't. So now these pieces they're going to use to deal with teams that are in the playoff hunt that may need a forward or a center or a big man or someone like that. Now you can trade them for draft at assets. Access. I don't know why I say it like that, but anyway. And that's the whole point. When you're building, when you're rebuilding, or as Weaver says, Tooling, this is what you do. You bring in as many pieces as you can to move these pieces to give you more in value. What the Pistons are doing is they're giving them chance. They're giving them themselves a chance to become a very good team in a short amount of time. Now, when I say short amount of time, I'm not talking about this year, next year. I mean within three to five years. You are talking about and you are looking at a Detroit Pistons team that has the chance to not only grow together, but be something very special. You have, they have a lot of young players, and this is what you want. You know, you want these young players to grow together, play together, because I tell you, I kid you not, and when I tell you this, I mean it with everything, when you have 19, 20, 21 year olds, and a couple of vets, they're going to learn from the vets, but the 19 and 20 and 21 year olds, they all got something in common, they all probably listen to the same music, you know, you already got Killian Hayes and uh, Sadu already friends. Then you got the people, the other two draft picks, the first round draft picks, actually the other three technically. I mean, there was two and then one in the second. Anyway, you got all of these players that are young that can bond, that can come together. And that's what you want. You want that chemistry built. You want young players because think about it like this. These, nine times out of ten, these players are going to be on the Pistons team for the next. I mean, maybe five plus years at least. So they're they're going to grow and they're going to learn and they're learning together they're playing together they're gonna have a bond together and this is how you build the team up and this is what you want as a business fan for me anyway this is what i want i don't mind it at all i love the fact that they're going back to a defensive minded team because i don't care what you do what sport it is i don't care if it's hockey if you have defense, then what you're lacking in offense won't really show up. Because you can be an offensive team that ain't scoring nothing but 85 points a game. But if your defense is only giving up 80, well, what you doing? You winning. If y'all remember the 04 Pistons, I mean, we can go back even before then. We can start earlier than that we can go in 
2000 to 2007, maybe. That team right there, that whole group of players, anybody that they brought in, guess what they had to do? They had to play defense. You had to play defense. If you can play defense and you can stop teams and hold teams under my opinion, see now it's a lot of scoring going on. So for me, I would say whole teams under eh, I say 95, but if you hold teams under 95, you better be scoring at least 100. Because nowadays, usually the first team that scores 100 points within the game most likely be a team to win. Not all the time, but some of the time. But what, this is what I want y'all to understand. This is what I'm saying. The defense is important. First of all, you, you got a good defense, and all these players that they're signing are defensive players. So that's going to start real, building, the court, building the culture back up in Detroit as far as being this defensive-minded team, this hard-nosed team, this we're not going to say no BS type of team. And so that gives you the opportunity with these young players that can play offense and things of that sort to hit their bumps and bruises because you most likely would never be out of a game because you're a defensive team. So whether they go on a cold streak or whatever like this, if you're on a cold streak, you can't have other teams on a cold streak. A lot of the players that they're getting are long or tall, whichever way you want to call it. But they're long. And you don't know why? Because when you run into a team like Golden State or a team that like to stay at the three-point line and just shoot all, all game, you get your hands up. You get your hands up. It doesn't matter if, if you give them a little cushion because you don't want them to blow past you. But you up in their face, you got your hands up, they got to they gotta shoot over that. A lot of people ain't good at that. You have to pressure these teams and make them do things that they ain't comfortable doing. And what's going to happen is this business team is going to be very scrappy. They're going to fight and they're going to claw. And it ain't going to be easy. And I'm okay with that. I, I, I wish that we had someone on the scene. Maybe they, they will be free agent, or maybe they have anyway, and I just don't know it. Because I've been out of the loop in basketball, I ain't gonna lie for a while. I mean, I was a straight, diehard business fan my whole life. And, you know, once a couple of, you know, born work business players had left, and you know, brought in Iverson, players. Anyway, I never stopped liking the business, I never stopped watching the business, I'm in a pain. But what I will say is this, watching my favorite YouTubers, we saw, you know, listening to them talk about the Pistons, made me realize, like, I gotta get back into something that, you know, I gotta get back into what I'm passionate about, and this is what I'm passionate about, man. So, I'm gonna bring y'all videos as much as I can, and give y'all my point of view on what I think is about to happen with the Pistons. But I kid y'all not, Troy Weaver is that man. And what he doing, y'all y'all scared. Y'all like, oh my God, what's going on? I mean, all these forwards. I see all these uh, tweets. <laughs> like, what is this doing? Like, y'all calm down, bro. A lot of people are stuck into this win now situation. Oh, what well, you said we're not rebuilding, we're retooling. So we still got a chance. Y'all, this it's gonna be ugly, but it's gonna be entertaining. This season. there are gonna be games where the Pistons play, and you're like, What? and there are gonna be games when they play, and you're like, Oh gosh, we're doing that whole time. Oh, shit. oh just this. During that whole time, I will say this. It's going to be energy. It's going to be some fight. And 
they gonna play like dogs. So, I'm in with it. I'm on board. Let's D up, Detroit. <laughs>